In the previous lesson, you learned about trimming clips and how to cleverly hide a jump cut from the audience. But now it's time to add music and address some common audio problems. Click the Appearance button on the toolbar, then choose a Clip Display option in the upper left that favors a large audio waveform. Increase the size of the clip by dragging on the slider. Let's begin by playing back the portion of the interview where we cut to the shot of the Sabercat flyby. It was just something I looked at the sky one time, saw an aircraft up there. It must be incredible to be able to see what they're seeing from the air. You may have noticed that the volume of the Sabercat flyby is way too loud and we can't hear what Mitch is saying. This is an easy fix. You should see a thin horizontal line that appears in the upper third of the audio waveform. Simply click and drag the line downward until the tooltip reads minus 16 dB and play back again. Something I looked at the sky one time, saw an aircraft up there and thought, wow, that must be incredible to be able to. Much better. The clip is a little bit too long, so we'll trim it back until the tail of the helicopter just leaves our view. Because we've shortened the clip, we've lost the Doppler effect. The Doppler effect is how we perceive sound as it passes by and the frequency changes. This also causes the sound of the helicopter flying away to end abruptly. But we can add a fade to smooth that out. When you hover your mouse pointer over a clip, you'll see two fade handles appear between the video thumbnails and the audio waveform of the clip. Click and drag the right fade handle 17 frames to the left to create an audio fade. Then right click on the fade handle and select a linear fade. Now the clip's audio steadily fades out to the interview with Mitch. I saw an aircraft up there and thought, wow, that must be incredible. Let's go back to the liftoff clip to perform what is often called a split edit. Split edits create a subtle change from one clip to another that will lead your audience so that they'll hear the change before they actually see it. To create a split edit, double click the audio waveform of the liftoff clip. The audio is now expanded beneath the other clips in the primary storyline. With the audio expanded, you have independent trimming control of the video and audio. Click and drag the left edge of the audio while watching the tooltip. When the value reads one second, release your mouse. Drag on the fade handle to fade in the audio for this clip. Now drag out the tail of the audio beneath the H5 cabin clip and fade that out as well. Let's look at a fast way to remove and add fades. Select the audio clip, then from the Modify menu choose Adjust Volume, Remove Fades. The fades have been removed in the clip. To add fades, choose Adjust Volume, Apply Fades. Fades now appear at the head and tail of the audio. Let's play that back to hear our changes. But I think the love of flight really began at a very young age. The audio of the rotors is still a bit too loud. Let's bring it down by minus 12 dB, then play back again. But I think the love of flight really began at a very young age. Nobody Great! The beginning of our story, however, is a little too quiet, and it can use some music. In the browser, locate the music clip called Pendulum. Go ahead and drag it below the main storyline and line up the left edge of the music with the start of the project. Then release your mouse. Because the music clip is too long, we'll trim it back to the end of the video. Move the playhead to the end of the Mitch Love of Flight clip and select Trim End from the Trim menu. I'll press Option Right Bracket. Play through it to see how it sounds. But I think the love of flight really began at a very young age. The music starts out great, but it really overwhelms Mitch when he starts speaking. Select the Range Selection tool from the Tools menu, and in the timeline, Drag out a range in the music from about a second or so before Mitch begins speaking to the end. Now lower the volume inside the range to minus 20 dB. Play it back again, and you'll hear it sounds perfect. But I think the love of flight really began at a very young age. Nobody in my family really wanted to fly. It was just something I looked at the sky one time, saw an aircraft up there, and thought, wow, that must be incredible to be able to see what they're seeing from the air.
If you want to control the rate of fade on the music, drag on the second keyframe, right or left. Dragging to the left decreases fade time, while dragging to the right increases it. To clean up our timeline, switch back to the selection tool and double click the audio from our split edit to collapse it back into the primary storyline. The split edit is still there, but it's now hidden to keep the interface clean. In our next video, we'll be adding titles and transitions to give our story some polish.